All right, all right, all right. Good evening, good evening. It's the Dog City Radio Show. We back, we back, we back, we back. Yeah, we took a little bit of time off. Uh, got some things done. Um, sorry to inform y'all, our co host Miss Comedian Danny Thomas is no longer, well, she's still a part of the show behind the scenes. Uh, she'll still make guest appearances, but she's no longer co-hosting uh, weekly with us. And we know y'all loved her, and we did too. So, you know, we'll definitely um, have her guest host every time that we can from now on. That's the yes. face tonight. Now it's back to the good old sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> right, me and Jeremiah in here, man. Uh, it's good to be back. Good to be back. Um, that it is. Our show is sponsored tonight by Audible. <clears throat> you can uh, get you an account with Audible. You get um, a lot of good things going from them. Uh, you could start a 30-day trial, and, and your first audio book is free. So go to audible.com slash Detroit or text Detroit, it's not case-sensitive, to 500-500. And testing is available for uh, your U.S. audience. Oh, I, iOS and yeah. Android. Yeah, so just go to text Detroit to 500-500, and... Um, so, yeah, we got a, a good sponsor. We're doing big things. Like you said, you can go to audible.com or you can text Detroit to 500-500 and you'll get a response from Audible and you can sign up for a free account yep. and get you some good, you know, um, not reading but listening. Uh, I personally listened to um, Jay Prince's audio book of his new um, autobiography on Audible, and I liked it. It was amazing, and it was in his voice. It was in his voice? Yeah, it's in his voice, so he, you know, read through the whole um, book. That's pretty dope. Yeah, he read through the whole book, um, each chapter, man. It was wow. interesting. It was like I was sitting there, and he was telling me the story. You know, wow. So, like I was in a conversation with Jay Prince. so It should be like that. If you're going to do it like a, yeah. a biography book, the person should, yeah. if they're alive, they should definitely uh, do the you, audible if book. If you're engaging in that, yeah. Did he stumble um, over any of his words? No. no oh, okay. No, he did it great. Yeah, okay. Man, phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> I want to hear it yeah. now. Um, so, wait a minute. Thanks to Audible for this show. To start your free 30-day trial and receive a free audio book, visit www.audible.com slash Detroit or text 500. I'm sorry, text Detroit to 500 500. We clearly are new at radio. We knew it. <laughs> We're new to the sponsorship. New man. to the sponsorship. New to the sponsorship. That's a big sponsor, Audible. Like, 
thank y'all for coming in and sponsoring the Dome City Radio Show. We really appreciate that. Um, also, for the fans out there, you can go to anchorfm.com, the Dome City Radio Show, or go to DJ Stacks Money slash Comedian Jeremiah Paulin. And if you like the show like what we do, y'all can donate. Now you can donate to the show. Starting anywhere from 99 cents all the way up to 9.99. You can donate to the show so we can keep providing y'all with this great content and these great shows and the, the funniness and the laugh there and everything because we are on about 12 networks now um, with podcasts. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're on Spotify. Um, I don't know if we on title. I don't know if title has um, podcast yet. I didn't. I didn't. They see got podcast. God, Andy if, Martinez if so, got podcast. Okay, then on we that. on we on title as well, and uh, many really? others. So, and you can get the links <clears throat> directly from the uh, Facebook my fan book my fan Facebook page at DJ Stacks Money on Facebook. You can go and click the links, and when you go to Anchor, or like I said, you can go directly to Anchor FM, and you can click the links and donate to the podcast. And we appreciate everybody that loves the show and wants to donate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias. So, in the hiatus, what have you been up to, Jeremiah? Whew. Uh, man, working as usual. Uh, today I had an audition, which I it was pretty cool. I, I did... I went live early today and told some of y'all to come. I had like a, quite a few people when I went live early today and told them about the podcast tonight. I think I see a couple of them on here. So shout out to all y'all who came back. So I did an audition. Yeah, got to get the fans back, definitely. Yeah, got to get the fans back. Let them know we ain't dead because yeah. I'm, I'm horrible with technology. So I, <laughs> you know, I, I I'll, I'll be doing stuff and they be like, "You was here?" I was like, "Yeah, I was. I was there." Yeah. yeah so I got to make right. sure I get better with it. Man, so just grinding, um, doing shows. Uh, like I said, I had an audition today. And, um, Jeremiah had an audition today. What kind of audition? For a movie. Yeah, movie for, audition today. Yeah. Big things. Big things. This yep. guy doing big things. A movie audition. If he in the movie, best believe I'm going to be somewhere in the background. It's actually one of the movies I, 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 uh, I actually uh, was in premieres today. It's a movie called Wreck, man. I think it's at the Redford Theater. So if you you know at the Redford yeah the Theater. Redford Theater or the Bel Air Theater I forget you know what let me, you know Bel Air that's on the east side <laughs> I think if you I, are off Eight Mile on the east side Bel Air Theater what's the name of the movie Wreck Man Wreck Man Wreck Man y'all should go check that out yeah go Comedian check it out and Jeremiah Paulin stars in that movie you got a big part of now, I'm not I don't have a big part in that movie I got a uh, uh, I'm I'm like uh, I got a speaking roles but I'm okay, definitely you got a um, speaking roles so I mean you're getting paid yeah yeah uh, so union uh, status. So this is a nine union movie. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -mm. But it's cool. It's cool. It's, it's exposure. So I'm yeah, in that. Yeah, uh, my homeboy, shout out, out to my man, that's MSV, Kevin Tate. Kevin, he he put me on that movie. So he put me on. Shout out to Richard mm -hmm. Mason, my man. He was in that movie as well. So for, uh, a couple other people. Um, I hate to miss. Um, uh, oh, my God. I can't. Forestine. She going to beat me up if I don't remember her name. <laughs> Four <laughs> she was in the movie too. Shout out to her. We also gonna be in the um, I guess another movie together. Me and Forestine. So that's gonna be coming up soon. So yeah. uh, just, be, just been grinding, man. Just been grinding and uh, doing a lot of doing a lot of me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> I've been really working on the music side. Uh, yeah. Also on the podcast side, um, getting the podcast edited and loaded up to. Like Audible and places like that, mm -hmm. so y'all, you know, we broadcast out to the world for y'all to receive. Um, but my artist TC Top Class has a new mixtape out. You can go to my website, DomeCityMusicEntertainment.com. He has a new mixtape. It's called um, Real Negroes Back in Style, but you know it ain't Negroes. And go check it out. It, it's got to be one of the hottest mixtapes in the streets right now. It, it and, is fire. I, I, and, I listen to it quite a few times. It's, it's nice. And, and I'm and when I say that, it's good music. It mm -hmm. ain't all this turn up stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it's real rap, real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You know, sprinkled with a little bit. You know, a little turn up in there. 
but it's not, you know what I'm saying, what's what's real popular right now. All that, you know, yelling and screaming and, mm-hmm. you know, not really saying nothing on the track and just woo, woo, right. woo. Then, you know what I'm saying? We're not doing that. We're doing good music. Right, right. Um, I appreciate anybody that's already went to the website and downloaded it. Um, it's compatible with iOS and Android directly from the website. It's free. You can go on there and listen to it before you download. You can download just your favorite songs. You don't even have to get the whole mixtape. Um, also, we got um, a digitally remastered and remixed um, the first album we put out, which is called um, New Heights. We've added three new tracks to that. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, by next Friday, by next Friday, that will be available on the website for purchase for about 12 bucks. So, you know what I'm saying, definitely support that. And we have a Best of TC mixtape coming um, probably the following week after after we release that um, remastered version of the album. So <clears throat> definitely Dope. check all that stuff out, man. I appreciate the support. TC, appreciate the support, man. Um, like I said, we just out here grinding, trying to get it. Um, that's the main thing I've been working on, really. Um, just different ways to, you know, uh, monetize the podcast mm-hmm. and um, promotions and stuff like that. Also, if you want to advertise for local artists, singers, rappers, poets, whatever, if you want to advertise, you want us to review your music, hit me up, DJ Stacks Money at gmail.com. That's S T A C K Z S M O N E Y, gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? Just put the DJ in front of that. And um, I'll definitely send you a, um invoice how you know for whatever service it is that you want. We also looking for more sponsors, so local businesses or anybody that um, is interested in sponsoring the Dome City Radio Show, uh, definitely hit me up on Gmail. And um, like I said, if you want to advertise, <clears throat> hit me up at Gmail. So You can hit me up too at, uh, wait a minute. Witty, W I T T Y A D L I B Z, Witty Ad Libs at gmail.com. And I relay that to Steve. So, you know, just definitely, so definitely. ain't no excuse, you know. Right. And then you know we're on that? Facebook, so you can always right. get always, at us on always. Facebook. You can hit me on yeah. Facebook at, you know, <clears throat> if you're watching me right now, then you mm-hmm. definitely know my Facebook. Right. Um, if you're listening to us, my Facebook, I prefer you to go to my fan page. DJ Stacks Money on Facebook and um, contact me there. I, I'd rather use my personal page for people that are friends, family, stuff like that, people that I actually know. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's been been a real interesting time, man. Um, I just, you know, the other thing I've been doing is trying to level up and just you yeah. know, dip into different business ventures. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing um, a documentary soon. I, I had started it actually in 2010. Yeah. And um, it didn't come out quite like I liked, you know, would have liked. So okay. I decided to redo it, and I'm getting ready to start, getting ready to start uh, that really soon. That's documentary that's on what? Um, it's gonna be about hip hop in the city. In you know this city? No, Pontiac. Oh, in Pontiac. Okay. I, you know, yeah, it's gonna yeah. be about hip hop. Um, so that'll be interesting. Yep, I'm going I'm to touch bases with a lot of the local artists, man, and get them a chance to shine. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I'm going to work with, uh, I'm going to have uh, Melvin shoot it, Melvin Griggs, a.k.a. Measy mm-hmm. from uh, Dirty Ink. He's going to uh, film a lot of it for me and everything. Mm-hmm. He's going to work closely on that. Also, I'm going to do a um, soundtrack for that. So That'll be dope. You know, Cause local you got, artists, yeah. Yeah, definitely get, get your chops up, get your music together and everything because uh, – it's gonna be big, so I just ran into Ill Will the other day. He, yeah, yeah, I um, you know, I be I be just driving out crazy, here. Man. That's crazy, yeah. dude. Yeah, hey, you know what I would love for Ill to do? I would love to see. I would love to hear. I don't know if he can still do it. Yeah, but you remember in school where Ill used to sing? I forgot he did used to <laughs> sing, and he used to blow too, That's though. What I'm saying. Oh hey, my God, if I totally you went forgot to high that. School with us. Oh my Ill Will, God! One of the dopest battle rappers. Yeah, in the country. I think he in Vegas right now. He can sing. Niggas be forget. He can oh like my God. actually sing. He like can blow. hold a note. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, sing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I would love to to that. hear him. You know what I'm saying? Like 
I don't even know. Like just sing some something dope, you know what I'm saying? Come with like some old Jodeci funk or something, you know what I'm saying? That'll be crazy, ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of people don't know how much talent he got, man. He's yeah, a talented a lot of dude. Talent. He can he he's um he's a funny guy, man, and oh, he also can guy. act. He yeah, did yeah. it uh, in high school. I remember what he did. They did what was it? The Wiz. Was it the Wiz? Yeah, the Wiz in high school. He played the uh, Tin Man. The Tin Man. He killed tore it up. Yeah, I do remember that. It. Like yeah. really killed it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That, Very that, talented. On, on another level for a high school play. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, Hold up, um, love. shout out to Ill Will, man. Shout out to Ill Will, and I forgot he can sing because he used to be serenading the. Uh, 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 yeah, li- yeah. <laughs> yeah, he used to be sh- <laughs> serenading the. All right, said that on air. He go yeah, like, man, we're we gonna be digging we, up my skeletons. Don't be talking about my baby mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, I forgot all about the aspect. But you be forgetting how much talent people got when you yeah. when, when when you only get them. Yeah, when you, you only, only remember them for that this. One yeah, side, that one aspect. You, know, you be forgetting like, yo, this brother can back. I think can he do backflips too? I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I, know. Yeah. I don't even know if that's a. I heard he was a championship yeah. jump roper too. Really? You know? Wow. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I, you know. To find out with Ill Will's a hopscotch yeah. champion, I don't know. <laughs> Just a very talented guy. Hmm. So I ran into him. So I was like, "Yeah, you gonna have to come to the podcast." And he got he got some stuff coming out now with uh with uh with Met the Man, I guess, because he's working on the album. Awesome. So he got a track with Met the Man. And did That's you see up. did you see the freestyle with uh Met the Man and Black Thought? Um, I didn't watch it. Uh, I did see that they posted, but okay. I didn't watch it. That was fire. And then he shouted out Ill Will in that. And he was like from up. Yaktown. He said Ill Will in Yaktown something. And I was like, "Oh, that's my man." Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. It's crazy that, that, that we know these people, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. It's crazy, you know. Yeah, it is crazy. Like, what, Melanie Rutherford working with Red Man? Yeah, she and, been, that's for years. And she been yeah. writing for, and she be she writing first for started, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she does a lot. She writes for Kim a lot. She do write for Kim, but he from Pontiac too, though. Right, right, right. And people be sleeping on like the mm-hmm. fact that he's from Pontiac. You yeah, know? a lot of people know he uh, came. He, he come back quite often, man. You catch him over there. Um, really? He always go to where he used to stay at. And he used uh, to live in Pinewood. Yeah, no, 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 not Pinewood. The other one, um, off Perry. Oh, oh, you talking about um. I always didn't change the name of some yeah, name. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I can't even think about. of the name. Yeah. I can't even think of the old name right now. Nah, oh, I can't. You're right though. Yeah, but I know it's doing Tur- No, I ain't Turtle Creek. Mm-mm. Now they changed Turtle Creek too, though. Right. Yeah, but yeah, Kim, Kim still come through. Mm-hmm. Right, Yak right. Time. Yeah. People got to start claiming Yak Town, yeah, man. We, we got a lot of time. Yeah, Actually, got- um, Rose Spit put up a post last night asking like what he could do for the city and stuff like that, and it's like, Ro, bro, you you you've done your thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? The, the most that we could probably ask for is like take some cats out on tour with you or something like that. But other right, than that, right. you've done your thing. You opened up your own business. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Doing Made your business. own rap career from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From humble beginnings in Pontiac. Mm-hmm. Like we can't, we can't yeah. ask you to do more than what you've already done. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You put on for the city, man, and just, you know, just, you know, take some cats on tour with you. Dope you know ass you albums. You tour DJ. I'm, I'm always available. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't DJ Stacks Money for nothing, bro. Dope you know ass album. Yeah. Uh, I act Yeah, too. dope ass albums. Yeah. I act Yeah. So, you Roll, know, Roll definitely. Uh, you know, I, I remember I, re- I probably told the story before. The first yeah. time I met Ro, I was working at a sub shop, which I ain't going to plug the name of the place. Mm-hmm. But I was working at a sub shop, and I was just, you know, working. And I walk up to him. I'm like, Ro Spit, what up, though? Boo, boo, boo. And the first words out of my mouth was, how your mom doing? And you know, <laughs> you know, a strange nigga come up to you asking you how your mom doing. Like, right. first off, how you know my mama? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. But you remember yeah. Pontiac small, so Pontiac everybody Pontiac is small. Knows, everybody, you know, everybody know, know each other. Or know somebody that knows somebody. Right. But I didn't say how your mom doing. I said, how Sharon doing? You know what right. I'm saying? Because I... I know, you know, they Sharon. Don't be my mama Sharon. Bro, how you know my mom? I was yeah. like, well, she come to my shows all the time. Cause at the time, I was doing like I had my own comedy show, comedy, and I do it, do it once a well, month. This when you was at um in Lucky's? Waterford. Oh, no, it was in oh, in, okay. in Waterford. It was Lucky. it was called Loon Lake. Oh, I remember Loon that. Lake. Okay. Yeah, and them shows Lake. was slapping, man. Yeah. Oh man, I missed them days. I remember that. <sighs> man, them was slapping, but them was them was them was good. Uh, them was some good shows. But she used to come support. So shout out mm-hmm. to. Her. But he was shocked. Like, <laughs> yeah. that, I think the show that I but seen you do at uh, what's the name, man? Lucky's was like the first show. I, you know, what I'm saying. I think that might have been the only show I ever seen you do live. Really? 
Yeah. That, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'll be always out. Yeah. Um, yeah. What I was going to say. Yeah. Um, oh, we got a guest, too. Don't We got a guest coming today. Yep, yep. Yeah, we got a guest. What up, Tiffany Tally? What up, all y'all Moving checking forward, in? Dead left. Thanks for everybody that's that's tuning in. I see yeah. all y'all. Um, Elise, Rainisha. Kimberly Ray, I appreciate y'all. What's up, April? I love goddaughter. Is they still your goddaughter after they old enough and can take care of their own shit? Like, Hell no. Nah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, your parents ain't dead. We good <laughs> now. Nah, you just my little cousin now. Look, you know? made it. <laughs> you, you made it. <laughs> right. And when has that ever happened to where, like, the godparent actually had to take over the duty of being a godparent? Rare. Like, very Rare. rarely. I, and and <clears throat> you had, I, I hate to say it, but if your godparent is a nigga, not an African-American, not a black person, but a nigga, yeah. they probably ain't going to yeah. be no help. So. Now they gonna, <laughs> right. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, right. your mama then wheeled me over to you. Uh, <laughs> you know, put your stuff upstairs in the kids' room. Right, and, right. Uh, uh, well, you know, make a paddle on the floor. We'll talk in the morning. <laughs> we'll figure this all out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? we get it figured out. Mm-hmm. Where your grandma and them at? You know they phone number? <laughs> right. You got to think about it. Like, she was like, like my cousin was like 16 when she had her, 15, 16. Uh-huh. So, I mean, you chose me for a godfather, and I was 13. Like, what kind of great decision-making was that? You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. I, <laughs> what you going to do? Right. I just figured out puberty. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what the fuck I'm going to do <laughs> taking care of a, a kid, you know? I'm going to kill myself. You want to do nothing. <laughs> nothing. I can't do shit. So, if you die, you just fucked. Like, right. Far as me, but you got good grandparents, which is yeah, right, right, yeah. which counts. Yeah, which counts. Um, Godfather is bullshit. So <laughs> while we were off, while we were off, a lot of stuff happened. Okay, a lot of stuff happened um, while we were off, um, especially with Trump. I know a lot of y'all seen that Trump was, you know, he had the concentration camps. I guess you want to call them, and he's separating kids from their parents and all this because he got this immigration agenda and all this mess and um that was just that was crazy like it was literally crazy that the american public like really let him get away with it like i ain't see a lot of outbursts and protesting and things like that um going on about what was happening you know it 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 seemed like it was an after effect like it went on for a couple of weeks. Then people started getting outraged. Mm-hmm. So that was crazy in itself. Um, what did he just do recently? Oh, then he tried to insult LeBron James. What was his last week about uh, the, the public school that LeBron opened up in Akron, Ohio? And he tweeting out like, "It's like somebody take his Twitter account and like take the uh, the password or something and change it." You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't be allowed to tweet. Barack Obama wasn't tweeting shit like that. This, this dude tweeting like presidential secrets and all types of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. What uh, what did he say about Brian Brian? He was trying to insult LeBron intelligence. Really? Yeah. Oh, I ain't catch that. You know, and then it was <clears> like Michael Jordan chimes in and says, I support LJ. And it was like, hold on. Nobody calls LeBron LJ. It's like LBJ. Or Brian or LeBron, or, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, for real, that come was on, crazy. Jordan. Like you can show more support than that. Like it ain't a, it ain't always. You a billionaire. It ain't about the the bottom dollar no more. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't take your money. You a billionaire. Who, like, Mike? Yeah, Michael Jackson. Uh, Jordan. Jordan. Is a billionaire? Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You finally. Yeah, made Jordan it? a billionaire. He should be. I would imagine. So yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he should. Like, Jordan does a lot of stuff behind the scenes, and he don't want a lot of recognition right, for the right. stuff that he do. But it's like, bruh, when it's time to speak out, you need to speak out. And I see you. What's up? But Jordan ain't never been the type of person to speak out much, though. Like, no, he don't. He, he don't because really vocal he kind of don't want to offend nobody, and he like, well, everybody buys my shoes. He don't want right. no. He don't want nobody to stop buying his shoes because of his political or what he really believe in and all that so he kind of stay quiet but it's like bruh we in the day and age where you know what i'm saying yeah you selling shoes like cats gonna still buy your shoes but you need to you know what i'm saying speak out on these you know what i'm saying definitely on the black issues you know what i'm saying say something more than i support lj you know what i'm saying but i mean you know that's the thing like a lot of people 
because of the machine. You know what I'm saying? Like they become a part You're of the machine. They're billionaire, dog. Yeah, but you I don't mean, see Jay Z doing Jay Z and Beyonce together as billionaires, and you don't see them doing that. They speaking out. It's very few. I mean, like they Jordan don't play football, basketball nah, play no more, more. or nothing else. Nah, what nah. can they, what more could they do to him? Nothing. They, you never they, know. Nobody's gonna stop buying Jordan shoes, bro. Yeah. Nobody. Maybe he just don't give a fuck. Nobody. <laughs> no, I agree with that. But like, I mean, he ain't played in, what, like 15 years. That long. Bro, and nobody's going to stop buying Jordan shoes. Mm-mm. Ever. No, they still making them over in China like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, the only person that sell more shoes, well, sold more shoes than him at one time was Kanye. And Kanye about to be a billionaire based on his, his Yeezy brand. Yeah. So them ugly, them is some ugly ass shoes. Well, right? I like the ones he had with Nike. I like them, but the ones out the, now, the Boost, the Yeezy Boost, I ain't too hot on them. They all right. The little sneakers they look like some boat shoes. Yeah, you know, some some cotton boat shoes. Yeah, Pick they this don't cotton. look that good. <laughs> he got the clothing line. Remember the clothing line looked like mm-hmm. uh, the used clothes. That right, homeless people were wearing. Shit. Somebody like, staying wearing downtown in East LA was wearing them. Mm-mm. <laughs> that shit crazy. Right. Hell yeah. Oh, this that new yay shit. Now give me ten right, seconds. Right. Um, what else happened um, <clears throat> while we was off? Uh, just recently, the the um, ex Def Jam executive, now YouTube executive, lawyer lawyer Cohen. He YouTube executive now. Uh, yeah. Oh, that ain't YouTube good. music. YouTube music. YouTube music. Executive. Um, he been getting attacked Look. by Dame Dash uh, for Rightfully being a culture so. vulture. Rightfully so. And. Um, <clears throat> He ain't the only one. They've been feuding that. back and forth. That's been yeah. going on. Mm-hmm. Um, what else has been happening? To, oh, but, R. Kelly. Hold on. Let me get um, on. Let me chime in on because we were talking about that. Okay. With the because uh, I was I What's was up, look, I was um, listening to because Dame had did an interview with Joe Budden on the Joe Budden podcast. He, he he's talking done about plenty of interviews. Yeah. But he was um, just on this particular lawyer uh, situation, mm-hmm. um, and I was like. I could not disagree with anything he said. You know what I'm saying? Because it happens all the time where, you know, our culture is ripped off and we don't even profit from it. Like, right. uh, what was it, Kylie Jenner, when mm. she ripped off these uh, fashion designers with the army fatigue shit? Uh-huh. Ripped off. But, like, blatant, though. You know what I'm but saying? But that's what they do. Like, they <clears throat> plagiarize each other. You ever listen to, like, uh, like, if you're in Michigan, if you ever listen to like Channel Nine Five Five or something, right? It'll be a hit song that's out, and then another artist will come along with the song with the same rhythm. The beat is like very similar, you know what I'm saying? And they'll change up like a couple of the words, and the, the hook will be very similar. Like what was that one song? Uh, was it was that a uh, was it Call Me Maybe or Call Me Baby or something like that? And somebody, it's another, another girl, call me maybe. yeah, and then another girl like came it. out with a song that was like similar, had a similar beat and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, maybe. what the hell? Yeah, but, but I mean, they do that all the time. To each but other, they though. do that to us. That's what I'm saying. Like they rip the shit out of us from like rock well, we and roll. Let, we 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 let. Mm. I'm gonna tell you like this. Mm. As not only mass consumers but mass producers. African Americans in America <clears throat> need to come together, support each other, but also make sure that you're not just moving for the for the money. Make sure you're getting paid your worth. Make sure your contracts is right. All that. I understand if you're in a poverty situation, all that, and somebody like, hey, I'm gonna make you a millionaire. But think of how much more money you could be worth if you do your due diligence, <clears throat> that you're a good lawyer that you feel like you can trust, you know what I'm saying, and make good business decisions. Don't rush and get that first million when you probably get 10 million, 20 million, you know. So in in business, man, definitely do y'all due diligence and support each other. We need to support each other more because, like I said, we're the mass consumers. We go out and make everybody else rich but barely support each other. Like I say this all the time, I ain't seen brothers support nothing since FUBU. For real, like <clears throat> FUBU was the like last clothing line that everybody got behind that was black owned and everybody supported and wore it. And like now you can't get barely no support for anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because everybody wants something for free. Because like we don't support each other. Like black folk right. don't support each other. And um 
We support everybody else, though. That's but we the support crazy a, thing. Yeah, we support everybody else. But, I mean, we'll sit up here and say, like, we'll say they steal from us, but we won't support each other. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, that's your opportunity to show support for your own people. Mm-hmm. So we need to take advantage of those situations when we have those situations where, like, uh, let's say uh, 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 a business owner is working on, like, um, a fashion line. Mm-hmm. Let's support it. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the at the, at the the beginning of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Not, right. not You know what I'm saying? Not it, after everybody and everybody else done jumped on and be a bandwagon. Exactly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jump on it because you, you think it's hot. And that's the problem is because part of the problem is we follow trends as opposed to But we make the trends and don't even <clears throat> and don't even support and, them. No, but we make the trends but we don't profit off the trend. Mm-hmm. And that's the issue. We make the trend like twerking. Let's say twerking, right? Uh-huh. And I know we we look at it like, oh, that's some bullshit, boom, boom, boom. But it's people and why they I understand his uh his anger. Is people is taking what we do and making money off of it when we not making no money off of that shit when we could because we don't see the the value the value in what it is and we don't try and monetize it and we don't try and monetize so you like look at hip hop like look at the inception of hip hop we was doing this because it was our culture because we loved it but we didn't we didn't we didn't grab and take ownership of it and once we didn't do that. Other people came in and they took that from us. And then once they but corporatized it, once they corporatized hip hop, you basically they control the culture that right, we call hip hop. Right, right. And You're so, right. <clears throat> um, Lacoste is a black owned company. Uh, Rennie Lacoste was a black tennis player. Lacrosse, the the the, the Lacoste, the, the alligator shirt shit. Yeah. Oh. Well. You know what I'm saying? That's black fashion. So. Definitely. I got a lot of Lacoste. I actually got some. Is Lacoste it still black stuff. fashion? Yeah. Really? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's that's still black fashion. After all yeah. these years, they didn't yeah. sell out? Yeah. That's dope. They didn't sell out. I um, I don't look at that. That's one dope. thing I want to say, uh, oh, if you want to support <clears throat> the Dome City Radio Show and you like what you see and you like what you're hearing, <clears throat> please go to Anchor FM, the Dome City Radio Show, or DJ Stacks Money and comedian Jeremiah Paul and, and support. You can donate to the show so we can keep doing this every month, every week, and, you know what I'm saying, bringing this real talk and reality to y'all. So, and right now, if you want to um, see us in the studio, go to my fan page, DJ Stacks Money, on Facebook, and you can see both of us live in the studio. Um, <clears throat> on the YouTube page, you'll see both of our perspectives and us live uh, later on tonight, if I load it up tonight. I don't know. I got to be to work tomorrow, so I got to get some sleep. But anyway, so it's just been so much going on, man, um, lately in the news and all that stuff. And uh, see where this goes. we haven't been here to cover a lot of this, a lot of the things that didn't happen. So we're definitely trying to play catch up with a lot of that. Uh, what I, I'm put him on the ground. He good. I put another. I can't think of the topic. It was something else that I wanted. We were talking about R. Kelly. We were talking oh, yeah, R. Kelly. We were talking about R. Kelly got R. a new track, a, another 20-minute okay, song. Okay, if anybody heard the I Admit It R. Kelly track, I feel like get, if the track wasn't, if like if he done this earlier in his career, I feel like that track would probably been like another I Believe I Can Fly or something like that. Because the track is a good track. But with all the criticism, all the everything that he's done, he's just like ruined his whole um, his whole reputation. That was how, the point of the track because he was trying to clean it up, right? But it's it's like too little, too late. You bro. Can't clean up herpes, like you, bro. You you, you <laughs> supposed to <laughs> too late. <laughs> you supposed to make this song like right after the trial, like right after right you after beat, you pissed on right your at, own grind. Right after you beat your your uh, right. Your, you know, uh, sexual misconduct trial. You were supposed to release this track, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and then his, his brother, <clears throat> Kerry Kelly, comes out this track called "I Confess." I confess, which is horrible, but it's <laughs> funny to listen to. So I love it. It's go up there. go and check it out because it's like one of them horrible songs. It's that's horrible. funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he'll get a lot of like listens and all that because yeah. he going viral <laughs> with that shit. If he ain't viral, let me check and see if that whack a, shit is viral. A horrible viral. track. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
It is a horrible track. Like, his voice just sound horrible. Like, he come in, like, I confess. (laughs) (laughs) That was it. Like, dude, like, what? (laughs) What you confessing? (laughs) What did you do? (laughs) Right. So. I actually heard that one, but I didn't hear. Yeah, so uh, definitely. I uh, I, I, I admit. (laughs) So, yeah, definitely um, check uh, out the R. Kelly track, man. If you haven't, you know, I think it's a dope track, but just too little too late, man. Um the hey, public, was the was public, one? I feel like the public then already made their decision on R. Kelly. So I mean, right. people still people still love R. Kelly. I still love his music. He still love his music. That's not gonna change. That ain't gonna change. But who R. Kelly is is as a person, You're the, a shitty the human public then made they. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. Um, they decision. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what he actually did or what he's not. We know what he's accused of. Mm-hmm. But Michael Jackson was accused of a lot of the same shit. But we knew he wasn't you know shit saying? for a so long we don't, time, though. Like R. Kelly. But I'm just saying, so we yeah. don't know. He should have been burnt. Like you know? we should have been doing R. Kelly. I've been done doing R. Kelly as a person, but his music, I ain't gonna lie, I still rock with that shit. You, but you him can't as make a love person, to nothing else. Shoot. You can't make love to none of these young niggas. Track. You can't Maybe make Trey songs. Yeah, you can make love. A Trey. little bit of cool Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? But right. Like, you can't make some Usher. Right. You can't make love to T Pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, fuck yeah. all that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going sound on? Sound like you listen to computer love. Right. Sound like your vibrator just <laughs> grabbed the microphone. It's like, right. let, me, uh, let me let me riff this shit. Man, it's it's, it's been crazy. We had a um <laughs> Our time of the world, of man, shit. where where everybody, you know, with Trump being in office, people are really taking um everything to the extreme. Like he's really empowered a lot of people to just jump out the damn window. And that's crazy. It's like if we ever gonna be a united front, a united nation, or anything like that, like, Trump is not the one. Like, a lot of people think that Trump is so outlandish that it's going to force us to come together, and I kind of don't see that. I think if that was going to happen, it would have happened with Bush, not Trump. I think Bush (sighs) really, you know, with what happened in Katrina and his responses and all the stuff that was going on, we went through uh, the recession all of that during Bush era, I think that would have brought us together before what's going on with Trump. Like, Trump is really just, he's a pawn. I really think it's somebody behind him pulling the strings. They are pawns, though. I mean, like. No, no, like, I, I really think, yeah. like, he's really a pawn. Like, mm. I really think somebody back there doing this, you know what I'm saying, and pulling the strings behind Trump. Whatever's going because on, because I, I don't think. Whatever's going on is bigger than what we know. You know oh, yeah, what I'm saying? Gotta, that, it got to be. It's it bigger be. than what, whatever is going on is bigger than what it, we know. It has to be because you know? if you look at his track record, his history, like you go back, you see all these African Americans and people of other races yeah, and stuff yeah. doing business with Trump. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Putting, I was listening to uh, Nelly the other day. And he was like, my, you know, he want to be up there with Bill Gates and Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Let me right. in let now. Me in yeah. now. Right. yeah, he was um, trying to say, nigga, let so me into your motherfucking so like, crew. Let me into your, let me into your That's why I'm you like, what I'm he, and he got that bread. Who he is as a <clears throat> businessman, and who who all the people he's worked with and stuff over here. Like he didn't, mm-hmm. he met with everybody. Yeah. Shaq, Jay Z, Jay Z. Remember Jay Z said I had a. a, 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 a condo at the Trump Towers. That yeah. was slept in once, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Said song. So he's done so much with, you know what I'm saying, other cultures, and then he get in office and just it's like a whole one eighty. It's just I I I, I kinda understand. It is a whole lot of shit that's going on that's dealing with like Secret societies and shit that's way mm-hmm. above, stuff, yeah, stuff that we don't way understand. that we don't even understand, and, and it don't have mm-hmm. nothing to do with no damn Illuminati either. So I mean, even, don't you can say Illuminati, say whatever, Trumpinati. But I mean, he's a Freemason. Trump is a high ranking Freemason. That's what I'm people got to understand. Don't have like, ain't no president not no Freemason. Like, people got to understand that. So it's a whole bunch. Well, they got to understand why they're Freemasons shit. and why they were mm-hmm. let into the Mason uh, uh, society as it is. I mean, we don't know why. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's, it's family. His family. It's no, family. It, yeah. it ain't got shit to do with his family. He from they from Russia. It has to do reason why free the the <clears throat> presidents become Freemasons because you understand that Moors designed the capital and Moors ruled this country before there were any. You know what I'm saying? Um, any any governments from any side outside of this country. So what happened was Morris designed it that way. 
you had to, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't be a Moor, you know what I'm saying? Nobody that, that wasn't, you know what I'm saying, African and a free man couldn't be a Moor. So, you know what I'm saying, the only way that you could know what Moors knew and be accepted, you had to be a Mason. Freemasons have been around for a long time. But, uh, but that's where it came yeah, from. Yeah, it, it came from a... If you look at... Been around if, for you, long, but if you look Moorish at Washington, D.C. has been around DC, for a long time, too. If you look yeah. at Washington, <clears throat> D.C. and how it was designed, yeah. like the mall on Washington, all that stuff, the obelisk, that's Egyptian. Oh, yeah, I totally understand. I, everything. You know what I'm saying? The, monu- yeah. the monuments and stuff that are built, those yeah. are built... Um, <clears throat> in Egyptian fashion, yeah, like a lot of people don't understand, like in Rome, right, and uh, Greece and all that. That's all those Egyptian. monuments and stuff. That, those are Egyptian are monuments. Egyptian. Those are not. Uh, They're not no Greek Roman monuments. Greek, They're not Roman that. monuments yes. or anything. Yeah, it, it comes from it comes from a- a- ancient Egypt, and, right? And it comes from uh, Egypt because you know that is where a lot of this shit comes from. Once Rome conquered. Egypt, they took and ripped and stole everything. Well, they didn't conquer. <clears throat> we 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 had um, alliances. You know what I'm saying? With different, we had um, everybody because everybody. Yeah, used to we come had to alliances, Egypt. but everybody wanted <clears throat> to like. We had a lot of people that wanted to come in and take over. Everybody. So we had alliances with certain <clears throat> with certain people, and we let them come in and study under us and things right, like that. Right. But during that time, they also stole from our libraries and stuff in Egypt. Yeah, they stole from Egypt. A hell of a hell lot. of stuff, stuff a from Egypt. So a lot. all y'all out there mm. that that think y'all pledging Greek ah. and Greek societies and these colleges and stuff like that, it ain't Greek. It came from Egypt. It came from Egypt. They you know stole saying? Y'all, it. Y'all just Kim was it. introduced to it as Greek, but it's actually Egyptian. And that you and, do your history. And people need to understand that. A lot of the shit that w- that's going on right now is still the same shit that was going on back then. Right. Like, and people really don't understand. That's why we looking at what's going on right now. Like, it's shit that's history, going on that we really don't When they say history really repeats itself, understand. they tell the truth. Because yeah. history <clears throat> does repeat itself. And as long as we play the fool and keep following up behind, you know what I'm saying, the, these, these Christians in that book. And we um, following celebrities, we, all yeah, this shit. Yeah, like yeah. once we following celebrities, we following religion all the time. But that's what I'm saying. I you challenge constantly getting screwed. I challenge all of my, you know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters out there to do your due diligence. Go and read about our history. You know what I'm saying? Before we were before our ancestors came to America. Ask yourself this important question. We've been coming to America. Who though. were we praying to <clears throat> when we were back in Africa? It was less praying. Who were we praying to when yeah. we were back in Africa? Because it, it wasn't <clears throat> who you think it is. Mm. Because we didn't know this person, know about this person, and, and this this whole situation wasn't introduced to us. But it was introduced to our ancestors when they was brought over here during slavery. And that's what everybody holds key to and follows. And that was per- that's our shit perverted. And people don't understand that's Egyptian comedic knowledge perverted, flipped around, spent, changed, and fed to the you. Names was changed in order to, to control the like, non innocent. Yeah. And this and this and this and this people don't do no kind of research on it. They don't understand the history of it. They I don't. could I could go. Oh, I could go on that shit, but yeah, we can go all we yeah, can go all that's day. Whole, that's a, <laughs> we could go all day. That that's that whole, whole conversation in itself, man. Um, monster. But that's why I tell people, man, mm. do do the research for yourself. Don't listen yeah. to me. Do the research for yourself because <clears throat> I'm not here to say, oh, what you believe in is some bullshit. I want you to to open your own mind, do your own studying, and find out the truth for yourself. Because I can sit up and talk, talk, talk to you, to you blue in the face. But if you don't do no, you know research. what I'm saying. But it, you won't believe me if you ain't done the research. It, and this is what we got to understand. Yeah, anything that you have been taught to you, that's going to be the truth, because it was taught to you. You see what I'm saying? Like when you're a kid, and your mother teaches you to go to the bathroom instead of peeing in your diaper, or whatever the case is. That's truth to you because that's what how you were taught. That's what you believe in. You mm-hmm. believe that you're supposed to be clean and go to the bathroom and wash your hands and all that. So when it comes to the Bible, good book, whatever you want to call it, 
because it was taught to our ancestors and forced on them, that's what they believed in. So those cultural values that was forced on them has just been passed down in history. And nobody ever and questions we, anything. Nobody, and That's nobody the questions nobody it. Questions and nobody has just done roll the re- with it. A lot of people won't go and do the research and nah. look at, hey, <clears throat> before my ancestors came to America or was forced, you know what I'm saying, or stolen or whatever, whatever the case is, this is what they were studying. But this is what we right. believed in. This is what right. was going on. But that's why the Bible say, don't study this shit. Mm-hmm. Take this shit as faith. Nobody, people don't even read the Bible. I mean, they just go to church and look at the mm-hmm. pastor and uh, take it all in, but don't ever study shit and don't do no kind of research. And oh, then no, they, they that's gonna come, the whole they gonna brainwashing. Come, they gonna you know? come and qu- keep quoting scripture after scripture. They be like, "Well, in John seventeen nineteen, mm-hmm. he said, and right. this, this, that, and the third. And it's parables. People don't even understand this shit. Ain't even like they taking parables as if it was factual, as opposed to breaking down the parables. Mm-hmm. And people are not really understanding what's going on in that realm. I'm gonna just you say know, like this. I'm not gonna crazy. follow yeah. the history of somebody that never existed. That never when existed. my ancestors who lived thousands of years ago, you can go into Egypt and find sarcophagus and tombs and things like that and and the, these people are properly um bandaged and mummified and their remains is there. But somebody who came eons after them you can't find none of their remains or anything, any of the things that they talk about. <clears throat> that's so, crazy. Yeah. But yeah. that's, you know, that's that's a whole nother conversation whole in nother itself. Conversation. You know what I'm saying? We getting uh, a little far off topic. Next show we're going to be talking about. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was one of the things we did want to touch on was religion. That was one of the things that um, was That's a touchy subject. To touch it's, it's very touchy. Yeah. because Not for me because I don't give a damn. Okay, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because well, I'm the type of person who go do research and figure out what's what, right. what's the real. So I ain't the person to sit here and right. get butt hurt have, about. you have knowledge yourself, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah, you don't but get, for the people who, who don't. And the yeah. people that are starting to have knowledge yourself and educating themselves and they're, they're starting to question um, Which you should question everything, right? Even me. They're, they're questioning, uh, you, you know, saying their belief and faith, and uh, the Bible and history and all these different things like that. So that's always a good thing, mm-hmm. you know. Definitely, if you ain't got no question at all, and you just want to follow somebody this blindly, you might as well kill yourself. You know I mean, saying? you killing yourself anyway. Let's just let's just find this bridge here. that everybody jumping off of. Let me let me drop you off over there. You can go and jump with the rest of them. <laughs> Look, you'll be fine. <laughs> right. You'll be caught. Your your guy so. will catch you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. What else is going on? And uh I didn't break Oh, we talk about the me. um the astronaut. Oh so the yes, astronaut, yes, yes. yeah. Um so <clears throat> there's a NASA astronaut who says that when he was in space that he encountered an organic alien like um, creature. Yeah. And NASA said, no, you didn't. And he said, yes, I did. Yes, I did, And bitch. I'm telling everybody. Uh, right, so right. So you can go and Google. I, I, didn't, I didn't catch his name and everything, but you can go and Google this because he's talking about it. Yeah. Because, you know, they always want to talk about, oh, we in the world alone or we in the galaxy alone and all this type of stuff, but everybody's Bullshit. seen all the videos on YouTube <clears throat> and everywhere else where there's right. all types of spaceships and shit that right. we don't even know about technology that's eons past, past what we even us. know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I seen for this is a UFOs. black dude. Yeah. You know he was saying? a black astronaut. This is a black astronaut. Yeah. A black astronaut. He like, look, I was in space. I seen it. You can't tell me what I didn't see. I ain't hiding it. I'm coming out. I'm speaking about it. It's time yeah. that we start speaking about this type of stuff. Shit. They had a uh, unearthed, uh, some some mummified reptilian humanoid species in Nazca, Peru. This was in the past couple of years. They unearthed these things, and they've been doing some research on it, and they was trying to see if it was real. They are like, oh, this is definitely authentic because it has the chromosomes, the same chromosomes that we have. So, I mean, it's, I mean, People need to look into this stuff. So as far as this do they exist bullshit, they fucking do. You just got to understand th- that it's out there. 
Right. It's a whole series based on the shit, and it is fucking out there. Like, it's just, you know, right. Jay-Z ain't say it. You know, fucking, you know, uh, 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 Jimmy Kimmel ain't say, hey, this shit exists. You know what I'm saying? So right, once... Right. Once somebody like that solidifies it, then we're like, oh, it's it's real now because we so right. goddamn brainwashed to right. believe it, that it takes a, those it people takes somebody that have we the value, doctor. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, to, so to get us to believe, something. yeah, and that's yeah. what's wrong with the people today is we but, we need the, and that's how they created. They but created yeah, but that's it how they did to, it in yeah. history. Is like you know <clears throat> anybody that said anything about anything, they'd be like, oh, they crazy, right? Don't don't, li- don't listen. Don't to this listen person. to they crazy. Don't listen to I e. Um, our favorite doctor who um, cured various diseases. Sebi. And, uh, yeah, Dr. Sebi. And all they say, oh, he didn't do it. He's crazy, this, this, and that. If Dr. Sebi's techniques were nationally um, recognized and used, a lot of diseases and things would be cured because – as we know, we come from the earth, so things from the earth can heal us. Mm-hmm. But pharmaceutical companies want that get back money. They want that get back you know money saying? because you got to think about it like this. And this and this is how a lot of people don't don't even realize this. In order for you to create a cure, in order for you to treat treat a condition, you have to find the cure before you can treat it. You have to. Mm. How can you treat something if you don't know what cures it? Right. You see what I'm saying? They make they find the cure and they say, you know what? We're going to alter it so that it doesn't cure the disease, but it'll continue to, you know what I'm saying, make it less progressive mm-hmm. or, you know, it'll keep this person alive for X amount of years or whatever right. the case is. You have to find a cure or something. You know what I'm saying? How can you treat something if you don't know what the cure of it is? This is How what, can you uh, make an yeah. antidote? Remember, Antidote, you right. need, you need. If you get bit by a snake, right? They already know the antidote to snake bites is what snake, snake venom. venom. See what I'm saying? That's the cure. That's the cure. So if if you know how to treat cancer, mm-hmm. you have to have the cure for cancer in order to treat it. Which they don't actually give, and that's the fucked up part is because they don't even actually give you the cure. They just fill you with fucking poisons and radiation, which kill you. When all you got to do is take vitamin fucking D. Like, we literally can heal cancer just by taking vitamin D. And that's a scientific fact. Like, it's a fact. That's why there's so many cases right now with black people. And we have, like, colon cancer. Women, Black women have the highest rates of breast, breast cancer. cancer and because, vaginal cancer. Because we are not getting enough vitamin D in our diet. Because our melanin. I believe that because um, I'm, I have multiple sclerosis, and one of the factors of that is uh, vitamin D deficient. Vitamin D deficient. But this is why we vitamin D deficient is because we closer to the equator. So an, our melanin is a regular, a, it regulates the amount of vitamin D that we get from the sun. Right. So if we are not getting enough vitamin D by going out in the sun, we're not getting enough vitamin D at all. I, I can I can and, speak truth to that. And because, because you have to if you're not taking a multivitamin or a daily vitamin that gives you enough of these <clears throat> nutrients and things that you need and your body lacks it, of course. You're gonna you know, so that's that why cancer. people are uh anemic and things like that. They don't get enough iron. They don't get they enough get iron, right. You know, whatever it is, calcium and things like that. And so that's what happens, and that's part of what's going on with the the black races that we are being targeted as such because right. they want to wipe us out, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they want to fucking wipe us out. But you know what I'm saying? Like of, they want to wipe us out. Also, the thing we you know it, that fucking part of treating disease is treating it at the cellular level. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> that's you know what I'm saying. That's where they find the cures and stuff at. It's, it's curing it at the cellular level. If you can um, isolate 
the the disease at the cellular level, you can kill it. You can kill it because, because your body automatically will replicate whatever it is. That, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Your body, anything that's introduced to your body that shouldn't be there, your body automatically attacks. It's going to attack it. it. Not, right. You know what I'm saying? Your body right. will <clears throat> naturally, you know what I'm saying, create a remedy or cure mm -hmm. to kill anything that's not supposed to be in your body or or – you know, whatever. That's why, like, when you drink too much, you poison your your liver right, and, right. and your body. You throw up. Mm -hmm. You don't throw up. You know what I'm saying? Because you drunk too much, you threw up because your body is rejecting it. And the way that your body is going to cure itself is to get all the get poison all that out. Shit out. Right. I can attest to that because I because <laughs> if I, I I used to throw up a lot. Now I kind of you know I I understand. I listen to I listen to my body now. And I know my body will tell me, you know, you got yeah. one more shot oh, yeah. before this goddamn oatmeal gonna be on this ground. Oh, excuse me, real quick. I'm yeah, back. he gonna he he gonna uh, get get rid of some vitamin D. <laughs> so I'm gonna just, I guess, continue on a rant. Uh, we talking about health, which is important. Um, we need to all make sure we take care of our health, and uh, particularly like when it comes to getting outside and getting into nature. Because you got to look around nowadays and you got to understand that we have a society that is not going outside. We, we all in, 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 we're inside our homes, we're inside uh, our jobs, we're inside our cars. We get off of work, we go back inside our homes. We don't spend enough time going out and enjoying life which is is nature. So when we don't do these things, we are we in a, in a way we killing ourselves because we we we're not connected with nature. And the further we get from nature, the further we get from being healthy. People in what we would call primitive societies or whatever where they still like live uh, 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 hunting, hunter gatherer type of lives. We call them third world countries. They live longer than us because they have, you know, more exposure to the sun. They have more exposure to nature. They're more, you know, uh, connected to the elements of the earth. And because they're more connected to the elements of earth, they live longer than us. So we have a society where we're always inside a box and we're always inside a box and we, we don't go out enough like we need to. We're not out in nature like we need to. We don't commune and we don't communicate with each other like we like we used to back in the day. You know, women don't even get together and have uh remember how women used to get together back in the day and they used to cook together and all this shit. Uh -huh. When was the last time you seen some shit like that? Only at like holidays and right. family reunions. But it was like regular day shit. You know what I'm saying? Where Ooh, women would excuse. just get together and that shit is gone now. Because it's all about we got to survive. We got to get money. We got to do this. We got to do that. But we killing ourselves. The only way to survive is to survive together. When people, when, when people say it <clears throat> takes a village, the meaning behind that is that if everybody works together mm -hmm. and pools their resources, you know what I'm saying, we all going to make it. Back in the day, if you were born in maybe the 70s, 80s, and whatnot like that, um... You could remember, you know, maybe y'all didn't have something to eat or didn't have some groceries or something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is, uh, you know, y'all could go to the neighbor house and borrow something or, or mm -hmm. you, you know, you could go to the Johnsons and have dinner with them or something. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. you know, we took care of each other. You knew that if you was doing something wrong, and the neighbors seen you, they were going to tell your parents. If they didn't whoop you, your parents was going to whoop you. Because you know, it was community. That's when we lived as a community. That's when we was working together. And we got away from that late 80s and into the 90s um, as, you know, the drug epidemic started waging war, you know what I'm saying, um, on the black family. Also, right, right. you know, as people started getting hooked on government assistance, welfare, that's the, what destroyed us. The, the, the tricky thing about that is that welfare tells you that the father can't be in the home in order for you to receive these benefits. Or if he is in the home and has income, his income has to go towards those benefits, which is not benefiting the family. Y'all need those benefits plus, 
you know what I'm saying, that that weekly paycheck or, you know, bi weekly paycheck or whatever to survive on. You know, but they've gotten um most black women in our culture thinking that they need that government assistance to survive. You know, it's only supposed to be temporary, but a lot of people, you know, are on it for years. You know that you was only supposed to get this assistance for a while and you don't want to get a job, so you're lazy, so you have another kid or whatever so you can keep getting this assistance. You know what I'm saying? And you, you're going to repeat that cycle and you teaching your kids that cycle. So it's basically just a cycle of laziness. You know, there are situations where people who really need these benefits um, need to get them, but they can't because, you know, they might have a little bit of an income or something like that. And the first thing that the government is going to tell them is like, hey, you got a job. We can't help you. Or you make you make eight fifty a month. We can't help you. You like eight oh. eight fifty ain't nothing. That ain't no money. You know. Yes, here we gonna get together. All right. What what time we got? What time is it? Oh, uh, you've got about forty five minutes left. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, we ain't even going to break. We ain't, gonna, we ain't did the break yeah. yet. No, we didn't. Okay. We're supposed to go to break at eight. All right, eight. You want to take a break now? You want to take a break now? We can because we got guests. Because we got guests. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll be right back. Um, I'm going to still be here. Um, we got guests coming in. Um, tell me what y'all think. If y'all out there watching, tell Wait, me what you think about together. what's going on in, in our community and what we need to do as a people. Give me some ideas of what we can do as a people You know, to start moving forward because we always want to point the blame. Everybody want to blame, you know, who. I ain't got to say no names or colors, but we we also got to look at ourselves and um, put some blame on ourselves because we also are part of the reason why we in the predicament that we in. But as a people, we can move forward if we work together, you know what I'm saying, to stop envying and hating each other because of somebody got a little bit more than you. If they work harder, they're going to get more. That's just what it is, you know. We gotta stop trying to impress the wrong, the the wrong people. You know what I'm saying? Why why do people that are broke try to impress other people that's broke? If both of y'all ain't got no money, why are you trying to impress them? Like for what? What is that gonna prove? What is it gonna do overall? Nothing. Ain't gonna and improve nobody's quality of life. So you know, I gotta start thinking about that stuff, man. And uh, I definitely do it, you know. It's it's definitely a, um, a blessing. Anytime I, I feel like I leveled up and I've done something or accomplished something, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely a blessing. But I don't go around throwing it in people's face either, you know. And people ask me, like, man, how you do this, this, that, and the third? I'm like, you can do it too. I'm like, all you need to do is have a, a game plan and execute it. If you see your plan through the – all the way through, you can do exactly what I did. Because I'm a, I'm a regular person just like everybody else. But the thing is, is I try and spend my 24 hours in a day differently. I try and make good use of my time, you know, to make things happen. And that's what everybody need to do. You know what I'm saying? Is use your 24 hours wisely. You know what I'm saying? Stop shoe shoeing around all the time, stop getting too high and too drunk or whatever it is that you're doing that's making you stagnant to where you can't move forward or you can't accomplish nothing, you can't get nothing done. You know, oh man, I was high. I was gonna go oh, I was gonna go down there and fill out that application, man, but I got drunk last night and all that, you know what I'm saying? You hindering yourself. You can't blame nobody else when you hindering yourself. And then you get mad because Somebody won't give you an opportunity or a job when you hindered yourself. The other thing is, man, is is you need to learn how to create. Create opportunity. Create a job. Create wealth. Create all these things yourself. There's too many ways out here now to be creative. There's too many ways to, you know what I'm saying, advance 
without having the help of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But we don't look at it like that. We All we look at is what we feel we can't do. We feel like, you know what I'm saying, like you don't have to have perfect credit, but if you work and save your money, you can make the same type of situation happen. You want to purchase a home, you want to own a business, any of that stuff. So you ain't got to be envious of the next person. You should look at that person like, yo, they got that. Yo, I want a Cadillac too, or I want this and that too. And you know what I'm saying? Devise you a plan to get that. Devise you a plan. You know what? If I work this and pick up a couple of eye shifts or if, you know, I hustle this, hustle that, whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? I can have that too. But everybody want to take the easy way out and rob and steal everybody. You want to rob and steal from people in your own community. You know what I'm saying? So take stuff that they worked hard for. I'm back. I'm so, sorry. What was we talking about? Um, I was just, you know what I'm saying, giving a little bit of uh, motivational speak right now, just telling people, you know, get out and, and do stuff. Stop being stagnant. Stop blaming other people for why they can't get ahead in life. It's all you. You, know you got to take um, – you have to own it, basically. Yeah. You have to own it. Yeah. You can't always blame somebody. You know what I'm saying? Nah. If you ain't never pointed the finger at yourself, you can't point the finger at nobody else for real. Nah, you can't. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. You got yeah. a guest up here? You got to Yeah, we, so we about to get our guests set up. You, you ready? You ready? ready? All okay. right, cool, because they got some stuff. They're going to sit like one here and then one over there. So, yeah. Okay. You sure you ain't want to send them both over here? All right, we got our guests coming I got in. My camera spot. I'm good. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I got my camera spot. So just make sure you know it's uh, enough room. Yeah, it's, it, it'll be enough room. Mm-hmm. We got our special guest. Yeah, I might have to move for a Come second. Come on in. I, you can sit here next to me. Okay, I'd love to. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. Bye to you. Bye. I'm always going to. I could be 80. I'm still going to be your baby. I'm her. Yeah. I don't hear from you for a while. Mm-hmm. I ain't heard from my auntie. I didn't call my auntie. Lady, which one you want to pick from? Pick one first. Oh, pick which one. And I forget. I forget. What was your name again? Monica. Okay, Monica. All right, we're going to introduce y'all. Okay. Thank y'all for being patient. Nope. See your uh, your daughter already chiming in, okay. Tavy. Okay. So we got our special guest here. Our guest that we gonna do an interview with. Ah. And it, y'all get set up and y'all introduce yourself when y'all get okay. ready, and let them know what's going on. All right. Yeah. Well, my name is Javon Love. Uh huh. And. We have just opened our own uh, boutique in Pontiac, downtown Pontiac, 28, to the mic. 28 North Saginaw in Pontiac. Screw and um, we are just trying to get some exposure here. What's the name of the uh, boutique? It's Why Love Accessories. Why uh, Love Accessories. Well, we are changing names because we are sisters. Uh-huh. Mm. And we're, uh, she just... I decided to join me, okay. so we're gonna change it from Y Love to My Love, right? Because okay. that's your Vine Love, and I'm Monica Love. So okay, M and the Y, My Love. Okay, right. all right, yeah. okay, okay. So we have the Love Sisters here from Pontiac. <laughs> yes, and um, they have a new boutique opening in downtown Pontiac. Yeah, town located uh, is on Saginaw. Twenty eight North Saginaw. Twenty eight North Saginaw. Sweet, um, exciting. they got a couple of their pieces and things here, so y'all gonna get yeah. to see some nice stuff. Hopefully, uh, y'all go down and, and check it out. And th- this is things that y'all design. Y'all design this yourself. Well, we I design uh, jewelry and hats, and um, mm-hmm. you know I, I embellish things. That's one of my hats. That's one of my personal okay. hats I okay. made, and. Yeah, and check out the, you know, the hat. Accentuate. I put colors together, 
colors that match. Put on my camera. And uh, yeah, my oh, you got it closer to the mic, Auntie. Put yeah, I d- right so they can see it. Oh, do you want to see one of the hats? Okay, there go one of the hats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is. And flat. and then we put it the is. you know all the items together. We we try to uh, buy our items if we buy them. If we don't make them, we try to buy them that you know so they would match something else that we have. Okay. And we pull everything together and put it in a you know ensemble, yeah, a nice right. ensemble, yeah. so it goes well. Come closer to the mic yeah. and match everything, looking nice That's together. That's right, okay. Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. I have on um, both Yvonne and I have different items on from the store, right? And okay. I'm that's Randy. All right. Okay. That's our engineer, Randy. Shout right, out to Randy. Randy. Shout out to Randy. <laughs> That's right. He making sure we all, everybody right. here. <laughs> so the glasses I have on right now come from the boutique. Mm-hmm. And this bag, I love this bag. This bag also comes from the boutique. Does that uh, scarf come with the bag? Yeah. Well, it yeah. doesn't come with the bag, but it also is available at the boutique. Okay. So, I mean, literally, our... Accessories and attire today, you can get at the boutique. And the nice thing about it is that when you're out, you don't have to worry about everybody having on the same thing that you have right. on. Right, right, right. Because right. we only have right. a couple of the same items, and you're like so one per is size. Almost right. like a one off. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. And then Yvonne okay. is so, oh, she is so creative. Mm-hmm. And she will take um, a dress that may look so simple and mm-hmm. do something, add some embellishments or whatever, mm-hmm. and make it unique and one of a kind. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, every woman wants to be a one of a kind yeah. woman, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. right. So, okay. Right. That's what we do. So, if you want right. to go get your own signature swag, then <laughs> you probably want to go down to right. Pontiac and go see these That's women. Right. Because uh, I, I definitely like, I like definitely what I'm saying. Um, she has a yellow swag on here today. She has the yes. purse to match. It's the beautiful. scarf. Yeah. I mean, this is this is, <coughs> Isn't this nice? beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's dope. You know, yeah. and you know, we we Let me see, so I can and show I, my viewers too. Where? Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. Yeah, I got my. <laughs> so that's the bag. That's one of the bags. Mm-hmm. And here's the scarf that I have today with my yellow bag. So yeah, and I wish you could and, see and my dress. Yeah, Need to go definitely go check out this store. Yeah, oh, yeah. They got a lot. Local, support yeah. local business That's for right. one. That's right. That's right. Definitely, definitely, there's some nice items. Right. And, so, and, oh, and, go ahead. And I also embellish shoes and do you know things for weddings. So okay. you know people can come in mm-hmm. and if they know what type of design that they would like to have. Uh, or if they can just, we can get together and, you know, put our minds together. Mm-hmm. I can make whatever it is they want. Okay. Right, right, You right. know, from the head so to the, they to the that toe, they right? Yeah. Custom <laughs> yeah. clothing that nobody else will have. That's Only right. you will have That's it. That's right. That's right. One-off items. That's right. That's right. So, so this is definitely, if. <clears throat> how did y'all uh, come up with the, you know, the the business plan together? So, you know, I it was um it was a combination of Yvonne having ideas and knowing how to be so creative, mm-hmm. both of us being in church and mm-hmm. there's so many misnomers about what a saved woman should look like. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, people see a woman in a yellow dress off the shoulders and say she they'll look at her and say she's not saved. She couldn't be saved mm-hmm. the way that she looks. But I you can't be shaved saved, with them honey. shoulders out. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> <Them shoulders away. laughs> not only am I saved, but I'm a minister of the gospel. Uh-huh. And and yeah. so bringing those two things together, right. being able to be a saved, sanctified woman mm-hmm. who yet loves God but l- loves looking well too. Right. It's not just the men who can look good. Right, you right. know, right, we right. realize that we can look good mm-hmm. and live saved. That's mm-hmm. right. You know, a satisfied right, right. life. And so that bringing that fashion together yeah. with right, our right. personalities and our cus- uh, characters and, and still being able to maintain right. that yeah. balance. That's I right. think you should always be able to mm-hmm. look good no matter what. You sure, because you look yeah, good, you feel yeah, you good. Yeah, you should look right. good. Yeah. If you look but good, you feel good. Who's to say what you can and can't wear? Yeah. Who, well, you know, see, that's, that's part think, of religion. Right, yeah, but, I, religion. but this is the thing. I've... I only seen it in practice. I've never seen a manuscript or, or right, any kind right. of 
photo that says you have to dress like this unless you're mm-hmm. a nun. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you know what? I I think the the whole thing is dressing uh, in a manner that you feel comfortable with yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to wear something and I feel like I got to pull on it and tug right, on it, right. you know, right. Uh, right. to the point where it's just like... Uh, <laughs> causing yeah. some some problems around me, you know. Right. But as far as the way I feel, you know, with my jewelry or my sunglasses, mm-hmm. uh, my nice outfit or whatever, right. I I love it. I love yes. it. Right. And, and, and the famous quote is, "What come as you are." So if you come, <laughs> if I'm yeah, naked, I'm naked. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying that. Praise me. Don't work like naked that. Naked ain't come out my mouth. <laughs> but I'm saying no, if you no come naked. <laughs> and you're comfortable and you like what you have on, you, you know, well, see, don't listen it, to the haters. It changes inside of you, whatever oh, yeah. it right, is right. that you yeah. feel at that time. But see, you grow. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the thing that, you know, people don't realize. You you are aware of what you feel on the inside mm-hmm. and what mm-hmm. makes you uncomfortable and so on and so forth. So it's like that's what it's all about. Yes. It's all about being comfortable in your own skin. Being comfortable right. in, and yeah. still looking yeah. fly. And still right. still, yeah, you can praise yeah. God and no, still have yeah. high heels really on. Can. Like, you can do that. The yeah. church yeah. definitely has the haters, though. Yeah, it's a lot of haters in church. Yeah, yeah it is. Sure. Yeah. Definitely have haters. Yeah, for Everybody sure. trying to outdo each other. I know. Oh, my right. goodness. And we should <laughs> go, go with the mindset of love. That's right. It's all about Not love. Not looking at the out, but we still want to be able right. to feel good, mm-hmm. you know, about how who we are that's inside right. and out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Not focusing on the outside, right, but right. knowing that it's okay to look good. It's That's okay right. for me to feel good. Right, right. Why should yeah. I why should I look like I am so homely in order to be saved and then have wondering if my husband is looking at the sister next you know, right. in the next right. with the row. thigh hanging out. With, exactly. Right. Put that thigh away. My husband <laughs> looking at that thigh. My husband don't need to be looking at that thigh. Put that put that away. <laughs> but if you feel good about you, you're not worried about. And, right, and right. Come on, That's tell right. the truth. Men love a confident woman. That's right. Yeah, oh, we right. do. Yeah. It's like women love a confident man. Don't That's nobody, right. Ain't a woman out here uh, wanting no man with no low self esteem. Right. <laughs> low low self esteem ain't killing it out here. That's right. If, if she done had a bunch of. Uh, you know, guys that have been doing it wrong, she might want that one guy that she can whip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she he might want no yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, she remember, might. Hey, I didn't think about that. You remember Woodrow? Yeah. <laughs> Esther used to run Woodrow. Yeah. Get over here, Woodrow. Right, right, right. You got to have somebody going to put your insecurities off on. So you be- <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a whole nother yeah. show. That's, that's a whole nother, whole nother topic. That is a whole nother topic. I'm just pointing out that, that you got them instances where yeah, it's like true. that. The woman run the man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take his that's check, true. everything. I'm gonna give you twenty dollars, and you go on about your business. And don't come back asking yeah. for right. no more. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But, but we you know. we do we really do have some really nice items. So in yeah, church, yeah, out yes, of church, yes, whatever. Yes. If you love looking good and feeling good. Mm-hmm. Why Love Accessories is the place to go. Oh, yeah. And you can wear these yeah, yeah. in church and out church because, yeah. you know, it's, I like the fact that it's, see, I like, I don't like, okay, I ain't going to say it. You don't, don't like, like seeing yourself everywhere you go. I like to see, I like, I like to see woman, but I don't like to see all the woman. You know what I'm that's saying? Like, right. I mean, I like, you got to leave, leave something, something to the imagination. You, got, you know what I'm saying? We got to yeah, have right. something that's to the right. imagination. Yes. You can't let it all hang out. No, you know, it's you not just, for everybody yeah. to see. Yeah, yeah it ain't for everybody to see. that vivid. I need to see everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you <laughs> frequent strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lord help. If, uh, <laughs> was, oh, if I brought you all some fabric. Like, hmm. could you make a dress from scratch? Like, oh. if I brought you the fabric yes, to make I can. it. Yes. Okay. Let me tell you, this is my auntie. Yeah. Let me tell you, she, 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 my auntie. But like, and I'm biased when I'm saying this, but it's true. And I really would not, you know, I'm even gonna say this, but how? I'm, I'm gonna just stop because I don't, I don't want to say this because I want you to say this. How did you even get into this uh, fashion and you know designing things anyway? <sighs> I know. But yeah, well, they first don't know. of all, I'd rather you tell right. people. Right, I started with my mother. My mother had a, she sold when Talking I was the mic. when I was really young in elementary school. My mother she mm-hmm. had a sewing machine. She always you know would sew our clothes and mm-hmm. and things. So 
I just started playing around with it one day, mm -hmm. and I never put it down after that. I went to school. I took sewing. I took. Uh, I, d I went to hair school. I did hair for mm -hmm. some years. I, you know, it's just like everything based around fashion. I loved it, and right. I still do. And I even really went back and tried to take paralegal, paralegal studies. Mm -hmm. And I went, and I almost finished, too, but I hated it. Yeah. I hated it. That was not me. But then here I am. I come back again, and then I come back to my sewing. But I always made prom clothes. I always mm -hmm. made wedding dresses and, you know, different things for people mm -hmm. in Pontiac, everybody around Pontiac. I used to have fashion shows, too, oh, back, yeah, I in, remember. I back remember. in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah. Yeah, I but I, I kind of yeah. went underground for a little while, but, mm -hmm. you know, got in the workforce and started doing hair and different things. And, mm. um, and then I always come, you always come back to your first love. Come back to what you know. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. It's time to bring yeah. it back full bring circle. Back. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, do the yeah. clothes yeah. and then do that hair and have yeah. your... Uh, hey, look. I'm ready to take show. it out yeah. now. Let's yeah. Take it out. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I um, I remember, remember when Polka Dots was popping? Yeah. For the second, second like in the 90s. I don't 90s. remember the second. I just remember when, when like, we was Kwame kids. was out. That yeah. was about it. So <laughs> when we was, well, she used to have uh, her kids dressed in polka dot gear. And she used to make the clothes. But yeah. They used to be dope. Like, I yeah, remember right, that. Right, right. Yeah, I used to remember they used to be dope. And then we and saw you remember the MC hammer, hammer pants and yeah, stuff? Yeah. And my son had every color. <laughs> <laughs> the shirts to match. <laughs> yeah, and she made them. And I remember she used to make the clothes. Yes, all yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You remember about, the hammer pants? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, you ain't getting no hammer pants. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, I used to I, I used to make him a different pair every every night. He goes to school with a new pair on the next day. So, wow. yeah, yeah. He used to be killing it, yeah, he chopping did. it up, doing the yeah. He did. He did. <laughs> the typewriter. <laughs> oh yeah, he he used to he used to be the man. <laughs> yeah, that was dope. The back in the day. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like now, it's it's that like what we were just talking about, like uh, as far as uh, ownership. And when you mm -hmm. talking about ownership and black ownership and things of that nature, right? This energy, like uh, you keep coming back to it, yeah, you know. Right. I, it's just nature telling you, That's yo, right. this is what you got to do. This you know is, what I'm saying? This is the and talent that was blessed. Mm -hmm. I was blessed. Yeah. With, yeah. And so we got to roll with what we, what, what we, our God-given talent, our, yes, you know, yes. and we got to roll with that, and then we got to capitalize off of that, so That's nobody right. else can, That's so right. nobody can steal your designs. Like, no, this mm -hmm. is. My love design, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yes, yeah. That's kind of what we gotta do yeah. in order to to take it back, because right. you know, like we as a people, as you know, as a black culture, we are the original people, and we as a people, we need to realize we are the original people. This is who we are, so we are very, very powerful in this. Very, very powerful. When our families are strong, we are strong. When our communities are strong, we are strong. That's why we need to come together and we <clears throat> need to support each other. Yeah. We need to be there I think that's for the each other. Topic of the day. Uh, right, because uh, it is yes, so basically. many people that are out here that have businesses or have something that they do so good, and their family is not backing them. There mm -hmm. are, yeah. you know, right. the, the people in the community is not backing them. Mm -hmm. But you would rather go to somebody else that has a name, a big name, and mm -hmm. spend mm -hmm. hundreds and thousands on one object. Right, right. And you have somebody that can just do it the way you want it, mm -hmm. and you will not even go. Just right. because. You don't get yes. the... Because they came from where I came from. Right. You won't get the quality of service with, with the bigger stores a lot of times. Mm -hmm. right. you yeah. know, they take yeah. your money be like, well, we're such and such, and you're just you. Right. right. You know, right. right. Take it and shut up. Take right. it shut Take up. it the way <laughs> that it, it is. is. Yep. Take it this in. is yeah. just how Keep it, it is. And yeah. where with our shop, you can actually get it customized the mm -hmm. way that yeah. you want. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, so that it is one of a kind. Right, mm -hmm. right. And that's yeah. that's the big thing right now. Um, custom, you know, clothing and right, things like right. that. Yeah, that's yeah. The, okay. That something, Dapper Dawn swag. Right. Like, yeah. Something else I want to talk to you about. Okay, say, uh -huh. for instance, you have a, a pair of shoes, okay? You got about 10 pair of black shoes, okay? And... Dog, I want some shoes to wear with this outfit, and it's got brown in it, and I wanted to go with the brown and black and leather shoes now, okay? Okay, so uh, you bring them to me. You bring them to me. I'll change the colors. Mm -hmm. I'll mix the colors, 
You want something, you know, with brown and black? I, right. I can do that. I can fade it. I can do it all. Like the airbrush. Yeah, the beads. airbrush custom. look. Yeah, yeah the custom. airbrush. <laughs> yeah. Shoes. Yeah. Shoes. That's right. Yeah, and I can custom do Custom shoes. That's right. We heard about custom yeah, shoes since, right. like, Ghostface and the airbrush yeah. WBs. Yeah. Well, well, you see this purse yeah. right here. This purse right here was was changed. The color was changed. You cannot tell. Right, It right. was a tan purse. Right, But right. I changed the color to the gold mm -hmm. to make it match the hat. Mm. Yeah, and, and it's flawless though. You can't. Yeah, really you can't not tell it. And, and, and you know, you put the color on it, and then you put a, a, a clear uh, coat over the top of it. I can put a satin, or I can put a, mm -hmm. a high polished uh, look to it, mm -hmm. and uh, that's it. You got it's it. All custom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. has. Yeah, she, that's for sure. Do, mm -hmm. do y'all understand that for everybody? Everybody that want custom shoes and all that stuff, y'all yeah, might be going to somebody right. else that's probably charging the arm and the leg. Mm -hmm. yeah. She can change. The color of your shoes. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Bring us some, yeah. some shoes that's, you know what I'm saying? You make like sure the they clean, on. though, you know? And she said, <laughs> make sure they clean. She said, make sure they clean. Don't bring her no funky, dirty shoes. Right. Don't bring, bring her playing some basketball. Don't, come don't, don't bring shoes. those basketball shoes. Right. Bring her a, de a decent pair of shoes. <laughs> right. And she going to hook them up for you. <laughs> Especially hey. women, because y'all shoes so cheap. Especially that's dress right. shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You need some shoes to go with that dress. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to bring it on down. Yes. Yeah. Get it taken care of. That's right. Yeah. I have some that I have, you know, like maybe I had a dress and I wanted three colors in the shoes. I put all three colors right in there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, yep. Put the buckles on them. Put wow. the, the crystals on the heels, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. Just whatever you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now what, Um. so uh, you were saying y'all had a, uh, it's an expo. Now what's up with this expo? Oh, okay. This is a, yeah. um, this is a, a um, during the Dream Cruise, they're having so many events downtown Pontiac, mm -hmm. and uh, we're having um, a setting up on the 11th floor in the building that we're in. Mm -hmm. uh, Are you in the town center? We're in the town center. Okay. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. And so, in, on the 11th <clears throat> floor, they're having uh, a, a somewhat of a, a extravaganza where they have people coming in and and getting tables. If anybody needs a table, mm -hmm. any anyone who wants to come out and be a vendor. Uh, just get in touch with Heather on second <clears throat> floor in uh, okay, Oakland Town the Center. Oakland Town Center in downtown Pontiac on uh, Saginaw Street. 28 North Saginaw. 28 North Saginaw. Shout out get Heather. Get in touch with Heather <laughs> if you want to be a part of this um, expose that they're having on the 11th floor during um, Dream Crew. It's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and, and we're, Sunday. Yes, and <clears throat> we're going into, we're doing it that weekend, this this. Coming Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. and then we following it over to the last uh, of the month as well. Okay. So we have in two weekends. Okay. Yeah. We might yeah. need to um, do a. What's yeah, you might need we to might come need out. To, hey, we need to do, do a, a live show. Want to do a That's live right. That would be cruise. wonderful. That, that would be, be excellent. Yeah. yeah. No, that would be. Dope. I thought about that before, but I said I wasn't gonna ask you because I was. Like, no, you should have. Because I would have. I would have brought it to the table, and that okay. would have been dope. Like, well, yeah. you could still do it. It's up to you. Yeah, we we could do it. That live. would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, that's dope. I really like that. So maybe yeah. we need to uh, get with Heather about that. Heather, wh who who? What does Heather do? Like other, you know, Heather she, she, is. She, uh, she seems like more than just a receptionist. Uh, she she do everything. Yeah, she can do. And she okay. don't get paid enough. Pay Heather more. Pay Heather <laughs> more. Pay I'm her. Not she ain't getting paid enough. Pay that you lady. Know? Pay Heather more. Yeah. I know, I know whatever. We got a lot of floors um, <laughs> yeah. there in the town center and stuff, and we were looking at possibly um, renting out a office space or something. Oh like yeah, the yep. And they're not they're, they're more. good prices. Yeah. They're good prices, mm -hmm. and they they getting ready. They 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 had they gotten a grant, and they're getting ready to build up on the build on the bit on the building. They're gonna uh you know upgrade it. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So it now would be the time to get in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And that's where our boutique is. Yeah, on the mm -hmm. sixth it's floor. on the sixth floor. Yes, yeah. On the right sixth there. floor. Yes. yes. Okay, okay. Six floor. We're six, sweet floor? 600. No, we're sweet 600. Uh, sweet 600. Uh, yeah. 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 I know some people. Uh, got, one guy I know, he has a studio. I think it's on the third floor. He got like the whole floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The third floor? I think it's on uh, the third floor. No, I don't think so. That, I think that's the, um, it's a, it's a, they, uh, I think, he, I think he has like the back floor. I mean, it's like the back of it, and it's a big, giant room. But then it's like another um, um, company there. It was like it's a what you call that um, nonprofit. Mm. Uh, yeah, there on the third floor when you get off the elevator. But then it's so many other 
studios and different stuff in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's always so because I like the fact that because P- Pontiac downtown is building up now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of people come down. Like a lot of businesses coming in down now. Right. So it's like, <clears throat> yeah. what's going? It's um slow stop. Slow oh, stop. Yeah. Slow came to a complete halt. Yeah. Nobody was going to slows. Right? Ain't yeah. even slows no, no more. It's no, it's no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more slows. No right? more yeah. slows. Right. I, and I can see why they. I think they was premature with they move because slows is a busy company. And right. we plug in slows and they ain't look slows. Y'all need to cut holler the check. Cause I love y'all. Cut the check. Yes, that's right. right. Yeah, cut the check. We talking about y'all failed business right. in Pontiac. Mm-hmm. Though the one downtown is thriving. They even yeah. got the they got the slows to go. Mm. You know, yeah. they yeah. that bad. Yeah. Like they like you know we can't deal with all this. People calling in, we gonna have a whole nother restaurant just for just that. to go right. So mm-hmm. yeah, and I don't think Pontiac. Pontiac wasn't ready for slows just it, yet. It, I don't know. I well, thought that I thought it was pretty good though. I mean, the taste was, was good, but the, the business wrong, was not the good. Wrong area. Like yeah. downtown isn't thriving enough to where nah, nah. a business like that would be sustainable. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, see, that's where we have mm-hmm. to drive people to our businesses down there. And yeah. See, just yeah. like mm-hmm. with us, you know, wherever we need to go to get uh, get out there, yeah. then that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. see, when people when 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 people like what they see and people come to your business and see that you are different and you have what they what they like, mm-hmm. they'll go anywhere. Yeah, they'll but go. it's just the idea of getting out there. Yeah, yeah. And letting right. people know where you are. Right, right. right. So and then they got bad <clears throat> reviews downtown too. They did? Yeah, they got bad reviews. What food was wrong? Reviews. Food? Yeah. They really? messed up on food. They got bad food reviews. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, so Gene what? Reeves feel like y'all. That's what happened. We all fall back on Gene's rib shack. You <laughs> sell out Gene's rib shack. Right. Shoot, they got that's too much competition. You got Uncle Jerry's. Uncle Jerry's. Jeans, that's right. Right. And then hey, uh, it's another. It's a, it's a place you, um, off Montcalm. They call it like the barbecue pit. Oh yeah, right out, yeah, right there. next to the gas station. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, right next to the gas uh, station uh, in the crackhead. Uncle Jerry's. Right there. That, that turkey burger, burger you oh, had. Was, oh, yeah. Was yeah it was they be good. having some flat food. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the Latinos got all the, you know, food trucks. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's stiff competition. It is. So you can't you can't come with no bugs. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. a lot of food it trucks. Is. Yeah. It's a <laughs> lot of food trucks. Tacos be good, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> if you ain't had a food food truck taco from Pontiac, but one of I'm telling you, yeah. they good. I ain't had a bad one yet. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with Jack. I, 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 I never had one of them. You never have? No. They, 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 they be clean. on point. Yeah. I, Clean and enough. No, no bed bugs and roaches. <laughs> <laughs> no bed bugs and roaches in the truck. If you got bed bugs in a food truck, then right. something's wrong. Yeah, right, something's right. Real wrong. Right, right. <laughs> the bed saying. bugs and roaches. Okay. I haven't had a bad the experience. The bed bugs yet. and roaches. Most of the. <laughs> Yeah, most of the choices yeah, I've seen clean are, are they clean, the outside's clean, the inside's right. clean, they right, you know, right. sanitize, they grill right, and everything. Right. Right. I'm not finna go home, right. you know what I'm saying, and be, you know, come back throwing up and all that, man. <laughs> right, scratching, nah, you got scabies. No. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna get a taco, I get a taco in some scabies. What's going on here? Right. What's going on? What is yeah. this? Yeah, I, I definitely don't play that. I don't don't play that. But I, I love to support the local businesses. I like, do. Yeah, yeah, I do. My yeah, yeah. favorite restaurant now, Mexican food wise, is Jalapeno. I know it is. Yeah, I, I, ain't yeah. Not yeah. yeah I'm sorry, Trini yeah. and Carmen, y'all are oh, not touching right. Jalapeno. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. I ain't, I'm going to challenge you. Oh, the, the one, I forget the name. And we plugging all these people. They ain't, look, we going to holler at y'all for sponsors. We going to holler at y'all for sponsors. Hold on, the one we by plug. me? The one, uh, El Patron. No, no, no. The one on, uh, you know, the one by the uh, uh, Secretary of State building where it used to be, right oh. over okay, there. Okay, yeah, on they Perry. got some. I, I, I only had like the meat there because they yeah. had the, like the, they used to have a huge grill outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, I know what you're talking about. And all yeah. That yeah. Stuff. yeah, yeah, by yeah. the um, chickens. Yeah, it was called. They had real chickens walking around. Yeah. No, no, they they did. No, they, I'm saying they were cooking chicken <laughs> oh. on the grill. Like they had this. The grill bigger than this table. Yeah. Okay. Outside cooking yeah. all types of meat. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But okay. the chicken is what I had. Okay. Oh, okay. That's uh, La Mexicana. La, ah, there we go. Yeah. See, here we go. There we go. Right. There we go. Yeah. Pay the yeah. man, Randy, no. right? Pay I used him. to eat there all the time when I lived in Auburn Hills. Yeah, oh, but okay. it's good. They got really, they La, La Mexicana. But they started off as like a grocery store. And then they mm-hmm. slowly morph right, into. Right, they did. Yeah, they slowly just, they just do restaurant. And they got like a little corner 
for like a grocery store. But I, you know, I think they just do that for probably tax write off or something. I don't know. They probably been here long enough to get taxed. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, they changed the game. But La Mexicana do got some good. And I'm going to holler at them. But like, you know what? Look, we <laughs> said y'all name a lot of times. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to give us we some need sponsorship. some La Mexa money. Yeah, give us some La Mexa <laughs> right. dinero. Yeah, but it, I think the best just... Mexican in uh, Pontiac is Carnival on Walton. Walton Carnival. Wait a minute, Carnival. Which Carnival one? Carnival is is a. Oh, is that the one next to the? It's a, it's a market, but there's a restaurant inside it's, too. It's mm. a it, it's the one right there by um, Papa John's and that um, that Coney Island. That's it right there. I can't na- think of the name because it's Coney Island. It's, it's right there by Notre Dame Prep. It's by Notre Dame. When you Prep. come off Giddings, turn on. Um, you make a yeah. Line. It's right at the corner of Giddings and uh, Walton. Yeah, you turn okay. on Walton. There's like oh, in that store. plaza. Yeah, there's a cricket yeah, cell phone it's store. A baby. And, uh, it's a baby. baby. We don't plug oh, a lot of business that it ain't that paying no sponsors. Yeah, it's a store. I ain't had their food. Now, I ain't so never I went know. there. Nah, mm-hmm. but the one next to the uh, daycare. I know the one right there. Oh, it kitty cornered that apartment. Yep. Okay, yeah, I know you're talking mm-hmm. about. It's right across the street. Yeah. I've never been there. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. We plug so many businesses right. okay. with I'm no. Let's now. get back to the number <laughs> one business. Yeah, here. and we're going to get back to the number one business, my love. <laughs> my, my love. Right. Yes. Yep, and we're going to leave them some cards here as well so that. Yeah. Oh, wait you oh we got to. Oh, yeah. yeah. We gotta, That's the Obama. Hold on, we got to bring this part. Oh, bring this right. part. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This that's, is that's, that that's is turn it dope. around to the front yes. of it. Yeah. Wow. That's custom made. That's no. Wow. No, that that one that that one is one we uh, buy, but okay. uh, yeah, we sell them. And then this is another one of them. Bought y'all made. Uh, y'all see this? This dope. is a this is a um, Boston satchel, and it has the wallet with it. This is, yes. This one comes with the wallet, and it's sixty dollars. That's the purchase one that y'all sell. Yeah. Uh yes okay. yes yes. Okay. I'm so, yeah, I didn't put these pictures put on this. Uh, this is her own design. I I would I would get in trouble for that. Let me see that. <laughs> you want to see it? I just want to put it on camera, though. Yeah, yeah. That is yes, dope. Yes, y'all yes. ladies so, see this, especially if y'all like Michelle Obama. Like, turn around so you can see them stones on the top, you know. sister. It's some, oh, that's yeah. a little okay, a little moist tonight. On the top. Yeah. Yes. That's pretty yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah it is dope. Yeah, this yeah. this is dope. Michelle Obama mm-hmm. purse. You can purchase this. My at my oh, love right in downtown Pontiac. No, I didn't make it. Oh, this, but is, it's, oh, this, this is, is also. This at, is another one. I, you know, we uh, have at the store. So not only do they do and, custom work, but they also purchase. Yeah, with, some things that uh, I've stuff. never seen. Yeah, mm-hmm. unique and in, in Pontiac. Yeah. Very unique. You made yeah. the scarf though, right? That, oh, no, no, no. Mm-hmm. No, I get those made. And, uh, oh, was, oh. This, this oh, you see, like you a, see oh, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This I, looks I, like I d- a $1,000 purse to me. <laughs> that, that's heavy. I deal with you know, um, this right up there with a, a Hermes, a Birkin bag, so, you know, mm-hmm. something like that, you know. But, yeah, see. The quality, like, like, this This is heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> this is a heavy bag. Oh, that's that's going to be hard it. to steal. <laughs> it's not, this is not a light bag. Yeah, it's yeah. a nine millimeter in that bag. Some heavy <laughs> artillery in that bag. Yeah, so but these definitely. scars, I had uh, these scars made in China. So oh, oh, so y'all okay. go to? Oh, I trade. Wow. I okay. trade. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's I, tra- good. I do trade. Do a lot uh, of big things. All y'all China. women looking yeah. for that yeah. custom look. Y'all, yeah, this yeah. is where y'all need to go, and it's right. In your city. If right. y'all look for that mm-hmm. custom look, they got these bags. They make custom dresses. That's they can style right. your shoes, whatever mm-hmm. color you need yeah. to go with your dress and stuff. I see. Okay. Um, I know. I'm they, to be they, they offer an <laughs> unlimited amount of services. <laughs> yeah. If y'all have mm-hmm. flyers or anything like that, if y'all want to come advertise with us anytime, mm-hmm. uh, definitely. Because um, I know a lot of women that definitely mm-hmm. want like that special unique stuff. look. They yeah. want the unique. You right, know, that's yeah. first thing. Yeah, girl, everybody gonna have that. Uh, uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and especially them new, that like the you know that new trend where all the ladies is wearing like the sheer or whatever, and yeah. they got the bikini or whatever on up under. You know, bikini. All that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some of them wear bikinis yeah, they up, under them. Bikini up and under. they wear them out now. Yeah, they yeah. do. Oh yeah, yeah. I seen oh, yeah. the girl wearing the beach. Not at the beach. In a club, straight stockings. I ain't never heard of that one. <laughs> but oh, yeah. we have like like the like the Burberry look dresses with the mm. sheer jackets and stuff like yeah, that. We're going yeah. to that. So I just yeah. ordered some of those. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They they doing that, you know, like the sheer coveralls and all that yeah, type of stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, they like I said, they wearing the bikinis up under them mm-hmm. and they out in public. Mm-hmm. You know, uh-huh. might have some heels or sandals on with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they out nice. like, like yeah. Miss Universe or somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the style now. Yeah. So, you know, y'all will get, probably get a lot of orders for that, especially oh, customers. Yeah. It's come from a long mm-hmm. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah way back. Customers. That's dope. Okay. And you said uh, this. So how does that work? Because you said this was because I, I know a lot of people. I've, I've, I've heard people saying, you know, uh, basically downing independent black, you know, clothing makers because they get their clothes made in China. You know, and, and and I don't, I never, I'm like, it's a trade. Like what you said, it's a right, trade. Right, it's a trade. You have right. an idea. Yeah. You say, yeah, you know, that's right. you know, you get it made in China. Right. So, you know, you know, you, you know, so how does that work when you, that, how does that whole thing work? But that doesn't mean that you have to stay with China. No, no. You know, when you first start, yeah. you know, you need, you know, you need something, something that's going to cater to you for yeah, a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and I, I know uh, that, that buying things in, in China is, is a lot cheaper as mm-hmm. of n- right now. Right, right. You know, until you know, maybe uh, until Trump yeah. you know, get his hand in it. But, right, you know, right. But, uh, if they say anything about China, you just say Walmart. Because <laughs> uh-huh. that's exactly how, yeah. where Walmart gets the majority right. of Everything stuff. Everything is from Walmart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you yeah. think about this. Most of the companies that have, like, jewelry and stuff like the Alex and Annie, mm-hmm. they made that in made China. Made in China, yes. yeah. Only thing, they just tag their name on they it. They put their name on it. So every, yeah. I mean, I could go and get that same item made and put my mm-hmm. name on it. Right, right. So... It's 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 about branding. Yeah, it's you about know? the brand. Right. And so if a person right. if they already yeah. have a brand name, then mm-hmm. you know they can get it from China. They can get it from wherever they want right, to get right, it. Right, 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 right. But um, right. I, you know, as of right now, you know this is, I I like different stuff. Yeah. And I don't care where I get it from. No, nah, no. Nah. You know, yeah, so if you say you like it, then I'll mm-hmm. get it. Yeah, yeah so right? it's, it's, and it's really it's about. about who does right. who did it first, and then because yeah. it's like the Pandora bracelet. Somebody That's had right. a bracelet. Before Pandora, That's but right. Pandora came out and made it popular. That's right. And there you have it. Put so. their name on it. That's mm. right. Yeah. Once so you put a name on it. That's that's, that's crazy. definitely that. So, yeah. Yeah. but um, you know what? What what's the difference in their name and my name? You know, it's right. It's it, just that money behind their name. But see, money money, money can be name. behind my name too if my item is good. That's yeah. right. If the my quality has to yeah, be yeah, they're just, I, they're yeah. just more that's reputable. Right. That's all. Yeah. But but definitely for the viewers that's watching, my love. Located in the town center, Oakland Town Center, downtown Pontiac. Custom women clothing, bags, accessories, mm-hmm. dress shoes. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can shoes. get it all. That's right. If you, you, made if you got some fabric no, I didn't make that you <laughs> love and you want them to make you a custom dress to your size that nobody else will have mm-hmm. with a matching hat and bag mm-hmm. to go with it. Mm-hmm. That's where you want to go. Mm-hmm. The store is called My Love. They located what floor y'all on? Sixth floor. They're on the sixth floor. Sixth floor. Sweet six In the Oakland Town Center in downtown Pontiac. Yep. As soon as you get off the elevator, it's 28 North Saginaw. That's right. That's to the window. Window. all this fashion mm-hmm. and stuff that y'all want, all this customized. Mm-hmm. You don't want nobody else to have it. You want the shoes, the match, the purse, the mm-hmm. scarf, all of this stuff. This is where y'all need to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do it all. So you can't be mad at no chick wearing so the you, same outfit you got from You can't from say it don't reward. fit you because they can you make it custom that. fit you. There you go. That's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? And they custom can make fit. it from scratch. From That's scratch. Right. And so fellas, too, because they got suits. They can make some suits. They can make some man clothes. They can do whatever. Yeah. Right. So yeah. they, yeah. it can be done. Wakanda. Nail. Kente Carp dress. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's All right. That that's right. Yeah. Wakanda. Yeah. Wakanda's in. Mm-hmm. Wakanda forever. This is where you go. That's right. Yeah, that's where it's in. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all, because... If you go now, you're going to be the first up on it. Because mm-hmm. in a minute, when everybody catch on, everybody going to be trying to get custom stuff made, mm-hmm. and then they're going to be backed up. Mm-hmm. Right. You well, know you know, what what just like my daughter say, that the uh, Pontiac's a little secret spot that nobody knows about mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. But when it gets out there, then that's what I want. I want everybody to, yeah. to be able to experience that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, what, this is what y'all want. That's where it is. Like I said, the store is called My Love. It's the Love Sisters. Y'all know them from Pontiac. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're making custom clothing, men's and women's. You can get what you want. They also sell uh, uh, products that they purchase. Yes. So you can get, you know what I'm saying, all that, you know, jewelry accessories and stuff to go with your outfits and things like mm-hmm. that. Everything that you're looking for, one-stop right. shop. A personal one-stop. touch. You know, if you come <clears throat> and you say, well, I want you to find me something, I will find it. Mm-hmm. So I definitely... Yeah. <clears throat> visit, support, 
Mm-hmm. Get your custom right. clothes and all that because mm-hmm. we all know custom clothes are real big. You yeah. trying to go to that that nineties, seventies, eighties party right, right. or whatever? Mm-hmm. Right, right. You want to go down there and see them? That's mm-hmm. right. That's right. That's yeah. what's going on, man. Mm-hmm. I need to get, and I I brought this up before, but I need a Halloween costume. But I need a specific Halloween costume. Oh no. No, I do. Rick James. No, it ain't Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't Rick James. Rick James. Eddie, Eddie Guardo from uh, Tekken. I need uh, Eddie Guardo you know from that? Tekken. You See, know we no. had to, you had to Google it. You had to it's, show them the yeah. Eddie right. Gordo? Yeah, I've had to, yeah. I've had, it's Eddie. Because, see, I always get, people always call me Eddie from Tekken. I mean, mm-hmm. just because I got dreads, it ain't got nothing to do with nothing else. They don't really wear nothing but some gloves and some pants. And but, he's I mean, shirtless. That's the thing, right. But <laughs> he had shirtless. a girl, too. So, it's, you know, but the, the, the pants is like bell bottom type, you know what I'm saying? Like capoeira gear, you know. Then they have some I, suspenders. I but it's just that simple. So because of that, you know, I, I need to get some Eddie Guaro. Oh, you, 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 you know you can take your anyway. regular jeans and make them into bell bottoms, right? But, yeah. So, yeah, right. I know. And you can put the different colors in there like but the it, 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 it need to be like it need to be like loose. Like yeah. So once again, uh, like I said, my love boutique, Oakland Town Center, downtown Pontiac. On what floor again? Sixth floor. Sixth, Sixth, floor. Sixth floor. Sweet. Go and get your custom clothing. Go buy accessories. You get that <gasps> custom bag and shoes to go with that dress you bought. Yeah. Yeah. Men, mm-hmm. you know, go down and get your shirt tailored. Get a custom shirt made. Hammer pants. Mm-hmm. They come back in style. <laughs> <laughs> uh, polka dots. Get them while they hot. Quite made, you know. <laughs> definitely support the local business. I'm definitely yeah. going to do some business with them. Um, the Love Sisters. Yes. Y'all know them from Pontiac. Mm-hmm. Proud. Double love. So Double uh, love. that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. We getting ready to sign off. Remember, if you want to support Dome City Radio Show, go to the app Anchor FM, and you can donate to the show. Donate. So we can keep bringing you these hot topics and great shows. Give us money. Um, so go subscribe on <laughs> the YouTube page, Dome City TV, and uh, mm-hmm. we'll see y'all in about a week. Follow but, me at comedian Jay Pauling on Instagram. And then follow. You can follow me at DJ Stacks Money on Instagram, and you can follow me at DJ Stacks Money on Facebook. Y'all got Instagram? DJ Stacks. That's Money. coming. Yeah. They coming. Do they y'all coming. Have Are any we coming social media? Yeah, they coming. Okay. Yeah, they, they coming with the social website media now. I have right. Instagram, matter of fact, but I, I I haven't been. You know. Oh, you gotta update it. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. Yeah. You gotta, gotta get it right. You gotta update it. But see, you have to understand. In the beginning, I was doing this by myself. Now yeah. I have my sister, so we can like yeah. work it together. But we so. do have a web page. Yeah, we have a web page. What's the web page? Why dot why dot love accessories dot com. Okay, why dot love accessories, love accessories dot com. com. Right. Go on there, and so you can get you know a preview of what you can get done at now called My Love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oakland Town Center, sixth floor, downtown Pontiac. Mm-hmm. Or you can do a Google Ooh-hoo. search. If you put a Google search in, in Why That Love Accessories LLC, mm-hmm. then it'll oh, take yeah. you and you can you know, click the web page and mm-hmm. everything else. You, you can, can go shop everywhere right from on there. The right, right. Yeah. Dope. All right. And we thank y'all okay. for tuning in. Is this one of y'all business cards? Yes, yeah. yes, it is. Business okay. cards is pretty. Look at that. Oh, yeah. oh let me see. Mm-hmm. Look real nice. Oh, look oh yeah. That. Back, that's a hefty one. Back here. Yeah, that's, mm-hmm. that's one of those good ones. All right, so y'all can see that. All right, and we're getting ready to get out of here. Thank y'all for tuning in. You can listen to the show at um, iTunes Podcast, Tidal Podcast, Spotify, and everywhere else you can listen to podcasts. Mm. So we'll see y'all in about a week. Thank Thank y'all for tuning tuning in. in.